In all of the wide world, there are few diseases that men, women, and children face with dread, like statistician syndrome. But good news! A new vaccine has been de developed for it, and you are part of the team that is supposed to determine whether or not the vaccine is effective. You are trying to design a study and determine which test you're going to use. So, in other words, what you're really doing is you're going to have some people who get the vaccine and find out what percentage of them end up getting statistician syndrome, and what percentage of people who don't get the vaccine end up getting statistician syndrome. Hopefully, there's a difference between the two. Hopefully, there's a smaller percentage who get it who got the vaccine, but we'll have to find out. So, we're looking to figure out which test to use. We're going to ask ourselves the three questions. Question one, is the data you're collecting quantitative or categorical? So think about the data itself that you are collecting. Pause the video, and when you're ready, move on. This data is categorical. The data itself is, did this person get the disease or did this person not get the disease? You are eventually going to be counting that up and might making a percentage out of it. But the data itself is whether or not the person got a disease. That is categorical data. All right, our next question is, how many samples of data are you collecting? So again, think about what's going on in this situation. Determine how many samples there are. Pause the video, and when you're ready, move on. In this case, you have two samples of people. You have your test group who gets the vaccine and your control group who gets a placebo. Or they don't get the vaccine, probably they get a placebo. This is a two sample situation. Now, what is it that we're trying to do with this test? What's the ultimate goal of the statistical test we're using in this study? Is it to compare data or is it to find a relationship between the sets of data? Again, Pause the video, and when you've decided, move on. In this case, we are trying to compare our two sets of data to see if the proportion of people in the test group who got the disease is lower than the proportion of people in the control group who got the disease. We've answered those three questions. We're ready to answer the big question. What is the appropriate test to use? Pause the video, and when you are ready, Go ahead and move forward. In this case, we are going to be using a two-sample proportions test. We're going to compare the proportion of the test group who got the disease to the proportion of the control group who got the disease.